there it is. There's the show. Or at least should be the show. All right. It's uh, the show. Yes, we are our show. A show of two men. Two men with <laughs> long hair. One one more significantly Italian than the other. Um, but one with hair able to pull back. One with hair really not able to pull back, but is trying out this thing called a comb anyway. <laughs> At least that, that, that's been my appeal. I'm going to shave it off next week, so I'm going to look more like Dan than you. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the plan. End of the semester and summer. So, But uh, enough of the uh, of the hair pleasantries. Are you, what, what are we imbibing right now, Sal? So? Uh, let's see. I have a nice, <clears throat> I have a nice uh, local IPA from one of our, our local breweries here, Triptych Brewery. One of my favorites. Is that a... Like a a water bottle bottle, or is that a bo- beer bottle? It's like, oh, it's, it's a like, can. It's a it's a beer can. It's kind of a tall can. This is not a sponsorship, uh, by the way. Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a tall boy can, I guess. Okay, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's a uh, yeah, sixteen ounce. Okay, okay, okay. The are are you more of an IP? You're more of an IPA guy. In the summer, for sure. Yeah, I like nice hazy IPA in the summer. Um, then in the, the winter, I, I'm more into the stouts and barley wines. And I will go stout any day of any day of the year. Um, Old Rasputin, I love Old Rasputin. It's a great one. I yeah. cannot find Old Rasputin here. Um, every oh, time man. I see Old Rasputin, I'm just I'm just like I have thirty dollars in my bank account. That's enough to get Old Rasputin. <laughs> I see it all the time here. I, I, I need to get you some. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna explore. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wouldn't work too well. Um, I'm I'm just drinking coffee, so we're we're good on that front. Um, so Sal, we haven't done this in in a minute or two. Um, yeah, about a few weeks. A couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. So we, and in fact, you were the one who kind of poked 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 the bear. It's like, wait, why aren't we doing this? <laughs> what happened? Um, and you, he was quite right in saying that. And here we are. So, Sal, tell me, how has your week or time since not actually doing this been in terms of uh, training? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think the, the last time you guys, maybe you and Dan held one, I missed it because I was at a seminar, uh, sort of a weekend karate camp uh, over in Ohio, okay. uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's just a big shuttle, Shotokan camp and was first time I had been to, you know, a big camp or a seminar like that since pre COVID right. and, um, you know, being around other karate students who are not my own students, you know, it was just, it was just sort of, it was a little weird for me a little bit, but, uh, you know, after the first day or so, I think it settled in fine. Yeah, there's always this this odd. We either are gonna do a whole try to do a whole lot mentality with camps, or just kind of nothing ends up happening mentality. Like, not mentality, but just the what ends up happening with camps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So I, I think with social media now, it's a little we it's a little more revealing. Some people were like, "We did so much at camp," and you just see a lot of pictures of people sitting around. Yeah, no, this one they had a lot crammed in. So they had three three head instructors that uh, that taught, um, and then they had a handful of uh, guest instructors. I was one of them, and we each taught for like an hour uh, or so, or no, maybe a half hour, sorry, and uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, but then they had something like some taiko drummers came out. They oh, fire awesome. spinners, you know, bonfires, uh, all that sort of stuff. So they kept uh, they kept the activities going the whole time it was pretty great okay so it went from uh from from shotokan camp to burning man yeah pretty much yeah they had some live music going too so yeah burning man is a little bit accurate there i i hope um i actually don't really know what burning man is but um cool cool that's great that's great to just hear people like yeah i went to a karate camp it was awesome it was like oh good no there's no like agony anymore with people being like it's weird to think that this was just like one year of something, but just yeah. even just unplugging everything for like one year makes people go like feral. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you know, I was a little, I mean, of course, you know, I'm vaccinated and I, the majority of people there were, I, 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 I think, 
I hope. Um, but, uh, you know, it was a little, uh, I had some anxiety about it for sure um, at that start, just because I haven't really been around any big crowds or in, you know, we were in, there was a couple times because we had some bad weather while we were at the camp. And right. um, so we had to do some indoor training, like squeeze into a pavilion or squeeze into a little um, cafeteria, remove all the tables and everything. So we were, we were tightly packed for a while and that definitely gave me some, same anxiety, but it was, everything was fine. Cool. I got a, just. I just got a quick message from our 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 our, our boy in blue, Dan. Um, because I always see him in blue, so um, he'll be jumping on sooner than later. So, um, cool, cool. But I I know that I definitely know if you've got a bunch of people who are vaccinated, they'll even if you have a couple people who aren't, like the likelihood goes down of infection. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's either you, like they're they're he already healthy, then you're good. Yeah, I mean it's like, and, and you know, it's just getting getting back used to it. I mean, even yeah. just you know, I'm I'm now to where I'm I'm okay not wearing my mask at the grocery store. That you don't have to if you're fully vaccinated. But even when that when they flipped that switch at first, I was still wearing mine. But now I've gotten to where you know um, I'm a little bit more back to normal in terms of being around other people. Um, yeah, I, I was, I would never, I never got that opportunity, unfortunately. Um, but at the, at this, I, I, I understand your anxiety. I, I, one hundred percent. I wish I had an event to go to for that. When Dan jumps on, I might bring up a topic that we could possibly talk about in regards to sure. that. Um, but I am halfway there. I am halfway to fully You're halfway there. I'm halfway there. So I'm at. 50%. I got wine last week and it was like a punch in the arm. And was your arm pretty sore the next day? It was it was like you could just always feel it was like it was like you had like a little like a muscle spasm or twitch and you're just like yeah, always yeah. trying to stretch yeah. it out but you never could actually get it to not feel that way. Right. Yeah. The second shot was definitely I was more sore. I was sore for like 2 days after the second shot. Um I had the Moderna, and uh, so I don't know. It was a little bit different, but yeah, that my arm was really sore. I'm just I'm just gonna sleep for like hibernate for 48 hours. Yeah, I think that's sort of what I did. I I had some, you know, I felt crummy for about 24 hours or so, and just laid on the couch and didn't do much. And then later that afternoon, I felt fine. I'm like, okay, that's over. Let's move on. Good, good. I I since I've been picking up some running around here. And so the people who were vaccinating me were like, okay, no running today. I'm like, okay, no running tomorrow. I'm like, okay, gotcha. <laughs> no alcohol. Okay, I drank that day. <laughs> I definitely broke all those rules after I had my shots. <laughs> I didn't go running, but I was active. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think, feel like you could, like, I had, I, I feel like I had, like, a little, little, little bit of nausea after the first one, but yeah, nothing terrible, like, nothing horrible, but... Yeah, everybody's experience is a little different. That's fine. I've been, um, trying to, I've been, pretty much, since we had that conversation probably two months ago about, like, consistency and finding that consistency, mm -hmm. weirdly enough, has just not gone away. Like, I've been able to maintain a consistent schedule throughout the week of Good. just training, of just, this is what I do today, this is what I do tomorrow, this is, what I, this is how I'm going to structure my diet, generally. Um, is it just something now you're just doing without much thought, or do you plan it out? I definitely, I'm one of those people, if I plan it out, it's just plan don't happen. Um mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep my body over here so you don't don't see my futon. Um, <laughs> because if I don't, if I close these doors, then the air conditioner traps all the cool air. So I've got to. Oh uh, yeah. Keep well, those. you could do the you could do the blurred background thing, couldn't you? Yeah. This is such a nice background. Who? It, it, yeah. You have like books and like a nice nice ceiling fan that I would destroy, just because those ceiling fans I've always destroyed throughout my entire life. Um, uh, you're not supposed to swing from them, John. Um, no, my, my, my experience was with, uh, weapons. So oh. with sticks and stuff, with bows, with sigh, 
I uh, definitely, uh, in my you have early s- training days, definitely shattered a ceiling fan light bulb with a pair of nunchaku. Um, yeah. How many no, times have you did you do that? Uh, only once, and I was renting that apartment, so it was it was uh, I was able to fix it, but uh, I was definitely nervous. So I was like, oh, I'm not getting my security deposit back. <laughs> well, well, I was so when I was 14, I started doing our knees. Mm-hmm. and you know you just kind of get the swings in and for whatever reason my father always thought it was a smart idea to put a ceiling fan in my room and then like put a long string down from it with you know me the arnese kid like going bump 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 with all the, like the arnese stuff yeah <laughs> what's up dog um and i remember one instance of just doing that the fan going wraps around that cord wraps around the fan wraps around the fan sparks out and then half the power in the house goes out somehow that fan was connected in a way to it's all good barking dogs are allowed on any production i make they're 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 perfectly acceptable and we are joined now via satellite um from an undisclosed location By the one and only Dan Bernardo. There he is. Peace, guys. I apologize. My uh, my afternoon has been, uh, you know, very exciting. Not not exciting. It's been horrendous. Um, you've got the so you've I, got the like half gi off exposing shirt. Like you're. Oh, I'm you're, sorry. You're, you're, you've got a Sal cosplay going on, man. Like. Sorry. Well, I want to um, say need the beard to complete the look. <laughs> but I don't have any hair, Sal. I wish I had your hair. I wish I had your beard, but I can't grow a beard. So. What? No. I mean, I I can. I mean, if I left this, it's just patchy, right? It doesn't. I can't grow a full beard like Dan has. No. We gotta get you. T- you guys are living in the same country. You guys gotta drive to to each other and then fusion dance that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, my so my mats, it's it's super humid here, and they've started to to bubble. So my, I've gotten to that point where I was like, screw it! I got here early today, and I tried to like move everything and kind of flatten everything out, and it still didn't work. So I, uh, I'm still not finished trying to get these these mats flat. So. That was my, that, so then I, I was late getting to my class and then I just finished my class and students just left. So here I am. I apologize. <laughs> no, no. And uh, I, I was just talking about destroying a, fa- uh, a ceiling fan with an Arnie stick. Um, and what? Some, so, yeah. And somehow that fan was also hooked into like half of the electricity in a house I was living in at one point. Um, and this, uh, this happened multiple times. <laughs> Okay. Now I live in Japan, and we happen to have uh, ceiling lights. Uh, yeah. Trip. I had see the other one yeah. over, over there. Yeah. yeah. Um. So what I but here's the thing. They're detachable. What? Oh. That's cool. So, all of them are. Normally. Normally, they're all detachable. So, so when you're training, you just take them down. Bingo. And I don't, I don't and like, doesn't matter, day or night, like, just take, yeah. them, take them off, take, put them up, doesn't matter. So That apartment That's- made for you. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> Sal, you're breaking my heart because <laughs> I will, th- this background will be changing um, probably by the end of August. Uh,. I'm not looking forward to it, but enough about sad things. Um, do we have any? Do we have anybody who won a free T-shirt yet? I don't know if anybody's actually watching this. Ah, come on, people! I know. I also know. I also know. Let's take a look. We have zero likes. Yeah, that's okay. 
we probably had some people watching and then Dan closed his guitar top and then they all signed off. They're like, well, <laughs> show's over. Yeah, we tend to get it we tend to get it on the back play a lot. Um I don't know how like I I guess like show reveal. I don't know how any of this works. I do you post it on YouTube. You post things on uh Facebook and then you see what happens, but Oh well, this I'm not here for the popularity, but if if you're just like people like free T-shirt and they're supposed to show up, what happened? Um, I'm mean, gonna probably cut this together and, and re re put it out there, but that's fine. Get it was a gimmick to get you guys back. That was the thing, even though Sal was actually the person who who kicked this up. Dan, other than the mats bubbling and and probably gl from global warming, or and or heat see it's we, we call it climate change because uh you know it, it just changes just changes. and yeah 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 okay. cycles and all that and uh it's just it's hot i don't know yeah it's it's hot tell us uh, tell us on how your training has been recently what have you been up training, to training uh to me really uh has been pretty good um I've been, um, I've been focusing a lot on just really simple, basic stuff. Um, I've been doing a lot of our basic forms myself. I haven't really done anything to like, um, like my rank level, quote unquote. Um, I've been focusing on a lot of just really basic stuff um, and just trying to do it as easily as possible as efficiently as possible uh without thinking without you know just any of that right so i just um that has been my focus and uh yeah cool and that's where i am cool yeah i don't i don't want to i know you're kind of frazzled you're kind of frazzled so i don't want to i want to be like so tell us about about what you've really been up to uh <laughs> But let me tell you this here, man. Uh, no, um, you know, because, uh, you know, when we, when we think about different technique, right. Um, and you do a low block in a front stance or you do a low block in a back stance, they're two different techniques, even though they're the same technique, but the, the, the actual function of them are backwards or opposites of each other, right? Um, because, you know, uh, front stance pushes energy forward, back stance pulls energy back. So, you know, the, the actual technique is different. Um, and so just playing with those sorts of things in, in the basics is really kind of just where my, where my mind has been. Um, now we do, uh, my, you know, just like today, I was working with a student, we were talking about Jindal, and uh, our Jinto is mm, uh, kind of an offshoot of Gankaku. Um, yeah, we don't do that guy. Version. Um, so we step back, and the first movement is this high, you know, <laughs> high X here, and then this, and then here. And then here. So the idea of the first movement being a backwards kind of like create this brace so that you can yield and neutralize to enter that space is it's like it's like one two and then you squeeze into that space. Whereas after here and you do the same technique. But now I'm in a front stance, and then the, and then you immediately do the kick afterwards. So that you know, so now I'm doing this, but I'm going forward, pushing forward, which moves them back, which allows me to chase them with the kicking. So like, you know, my brain recently has been, yes, this is the same thing, but they can and they can be completely different based on the jase and based on the techniques that come afterwards. So. Basic, basic things for me uh, as of late, just playing. Does your, uh, Dan, does your chinto move in a straight line or diagonal? Straight line. Okay. Sal, does yours move in a straight line? 
It does, yeah, but I know there's some versions out there that go diagonal. When I so that's did Kian's version. Okay. Kian's version. Kian's version goes off at an angle. I did a bastardized variant of that. I know that for sure. But I, I'm, I'm not saying I did the... I, yeah. Kata. It's just one yeah, or three. Kind of like Iido, are pretty short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, no worries. There he is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So, so we're presumably re recording again. Yeah, yeah we, we are recording, and we are, we are live. Fixing one thing. Can you guys hear me? Success. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I cannot hear you. Okay. We we're hearing you for a second, and then yeah, we lost you. He's gone. Now he's gone. Now I'm back. Oop. Plug, plug the light back. Can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> I can't. I, it's right here. It's a load bearing. <laughs> it's a load bearing light. It it had something to do with the internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um so i guess we have the beetlejuice of, of karate and we figured out what the beetlejuice of karate was now we i cannot hear you john what oh no hold on we've got nothing we can see you we cannot hear you and, and you can clearly hear us <laughs> now you're muted It's because you have all this equipment. It's, it's confusing. That's what it is. The universe is trying to tell you simplicity is better, John. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think he's just trying. I think he's telling us just to keep talking. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. look at that. Look at that. Sal. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You've got. Um, You've got the intuition. Yep, something. <laughs> <laughs> How's your week been? Good. Short, short week. We had, we had Monday off for the holiday, and then uh, I took a personal day today. So, yeah, short week. Nice. Lots of – got lots of training in, so that's always good. You uh, – how much training do you get? apart from teaching um i probably only teach five hours a week no more about between six and seven hours a week but i probably train close to 15 or 20. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah it, it it's not well balanced but yeah I, I just do more personal training than teaching no, I like that. I like that. I probably, oh, let's see here. I probably teach 12 to 14 hours a week, and I probably train the same. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I guess I'm a little balanced. I didn't think about it that way. Um, cause I always thought that you should train more than you teach, but, um, sure. yeah, but I haven't been lately and, um, you know, I'm, I'm home with, with my, with my daughter, of course it's, it's summer. So like, you know, we're hanging out and we're doing things. Um, and so I don't really get that. a whole lot of time. I don't really get a whole lot. Of, oh, I heard you. Cause I said you're a really good dad. Oh. Well, thanks. You are a really good dad because it's like all, every time I see your stream, I'm just like, this is my daughter and we're hanging out. I'm like, you are an <laughs> awesome father. Yep. Like, yep. Straight <laughs> up. Like, you're a, he's a great, you're a great dad. I'm well, a terrible technician, but you're a great dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I turned, because I was getting um, echo, echo feedback. Um, mm. And I was like trying to be like, turn off permissions. Turning off audio permissions, microphone permissions means all your audio goes off for everything. 
Sorry about gotcha. that interrupt. I, I think I know what's happening is OBS is getting overloaded. Like the encoder is getting overloaded. So that's when it's like causing a weird feedback to say like, internet's off. We're turning off the internet. Mm, Thanks, OBS. Yeah. So we might be switching to another stream device at some point. Anyway, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. Uh, you guys, oh, no, you're great good. job. You guys are both professionals. You're wonderful human beings. I'm a piece of garbage. Um, <laughs> you're you were right. I'm wrong. You're you're you 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 you're good. I'm bad. Um, you're very attractive. I'm hideously ugly. It's like that scene in Happy Gilmore. Um, this, is, this this has turned into a weird streaming session right now. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did want to talk about um, is I know we're kind of pressed for maybe like we only have about 10 minutes left. Um, and I'm going to re re-edit this to be a better video because I feel like we got a good video out of this. Um, just... It's going to be two streams, so it's going to be look a little weird. It's okay. I don't care about the video. I care about hanging out with my friends. Indeed. And I'm just throwing it up on the internet for people to see. But one thing I was interested to get your guys' takes on, and I know this is a bit controversial, but what do you think? Are you guys going to be looking at what's going on with karate and the Olympics in the coming weeks? Because that's coming up like two or three weeks from now. Uh, is that a topic I, I'll, that is I'll be honest, figured? and I, I will say I don't care. Okay. Uh, it, 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 I, I think it's great that, that karate is in the Olympics. I think it's amazing. I think it's it's great. Any any publicity for karate in, in any way, shape, or form is awesome. Um, Nobody, nobody who wants to learn karate knows the difference between sport karate and any other kind of karate. So, like, there's really no, I don't, I don't care what kind of karate they show in the Olympics. They could do American sport karate in the Olympics. I don't really care. Um, it's good publicity um, for karate in general. Um, I think that uh, for the most part, especially here in the states, when somebody sees you wear one of these. They immediately think that you teach a bunch of kids how to do play dodgeball. And uh, so any way that we can change the perception of that is awesome. It's fantastic. You know, uh, I, don't, I don't have an issue with that. Um, do I know, I don't know who's in what, I don't know. I don't even know who's on the, the US team. Like I, I, I don't follow it, so. I'm I'm a uh, like that's cool. Have fun. I'm over here. I, I I have nothing against it, but I'm also not paying any attention. If that makes sense. Okay. Sal, what do you think? Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat as Dan. Um, uh, you know, I think it could be good for the publicity. You know, I I I tend to not other than other even though I. I tend to put a lot of stuff on online, you know, on Facebook and Instagram or whatever. I, I, I don't talk about karate at, at all much in my personal life. Um, and only, you know, uh, people who really know me even know that I train. And it's because I get, I, I used to get really annoyed when someone would say, oh, you do karate? My, my daughter does that. She's four years old. She just got her black belt. And I'm thinking, well, that's really great for your daughter, but it's not, it's not the same as what, 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 what we do. Um, so yeah, if they can do something to sort of change the, 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 that perception, then, then great. But, you know, I don't follow professional, professional sports. I don't follow the Olympics. It's not, it's not on my radar. Um, so yeah. No, I mean, that's yeah, same. Like I don't, I don't pay attention to football or baseball or basketball or anything. I just, I just no. saw the other night that Italy is, is facing off against England in some big soccer football thing and that's awesome go italy right uh but uh yeah. didn't even know <laughs> so like i, I don't know i didn't i've always been on the mindset from... like i just i just don't get it like i, I i've never felt Ball like a here. connection Ball to over here. Over there. yeah I, I've, I've never felt like a connection to a, a team or anything i mean you know i'm in a college town so everybody's all about you know the university teams here i'm like i then they win, they lose. Like I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I don't know. But I mean, I grew up playing sports. Um, you know, I played almost every sport you can imagine. Um, I've tried it. 
except for ice hockey. I never played ice hockey. Uh, I never did curling professionally or competitively, right? Um, but like, um, I've done tennis, golf, basketball, baseball, soccer, swimming, diving, track and field, right? I was a high jump champion, uh, county high jump champion when I was a sophomore in high school, right? So like, I, I, I but I am not as much a team player as I needed to be to be successful in a team sport. So um, I got my fulfillment in karate, in the uh, tongue. So uh, this is this is where I get my fulfillment. Um, I don't I don't knock anybody who really loves sports. It just seems like um, it can be it can be very unhealthy and and almost cultish and uh that scares me a lot of yeah. times so, um, yeah, i try to I, I enjoy the because i'm very i'm not a competitive person but i'm competitive with myself so you know karate climbing yoga that's all just me competing with myself right i don't worry about, yeah. about anybody but myself so i those sorts of things yeah definitely definitely into that so i go ahead yeah. john i think i cut you off do you, no, no, it's all good. I was just gonna say, do you? Yeah. Really, are you dancing with yourself too? Me or Dan? I don't know anybody. Is anybody dancing? With them I dance all the time, uh, John. Um, the difference is, is it hurts people. I've I've always <laughs> want to try to find a way to put a music drop in, but um, no, I understand. I feel like that's pretty much like I think I feel oh, that's like a personality type thing too, where it's like where those people who are going to be wanting to do stuff against themselves, you generally, like, don't interact with them unless you're doing those activities with them, which is yep. harder to do because that generally is the solitary activity. Or not solitary, but, like, yep. the challenging activity. Um, yeah. There is... Oh, go ahead. But, like, John, when you run, right, like, you're a runner. I try to be. So you can run by yourself, and you can, you can have personal records and da-da-da, and that's, that's this... But then you can also run with a group, but you're in that together, right? Yeah. You're all, but you're all the same, we're like similar mindset, right? Like you're all, you all have personal bests and you're all trying to be the best uh, uh, version of yourself when you're out there running, et cetera, et cetera. But when you're with a group, you can have a little bit of a competitiveness with each other, but it's not the same as like playing baseball or, or no. basketball or something no. like that. Well, it's when those it's when those activities really become more of your 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 own craft right and it's something it's about your you're on your own journey so i i i com i often look at you know watching the, the the really good climbers at my climbing gym like the way that they will focus and work on a, a on a route and try it over and over and over and over again the same way you might do a kata over and over and over again just because yeah you can do it but you could be doing it better you could be doing it smoother you could be doing it you know just more efficiently so when I, yeah. you know, I'll watch a really good climber just work for weeks on a single route. And I just, you know, that, that speaks to me because it's like, that's, that's the same sort of, you know, uh, determination and focus that you need in, in any martial art or anything like that. Of course, you know, yoga is the same, you know, it's that it's about just continually pushing yourself. You don't have a coach there. You don't have a team cheering you on. You just have yourself to push yourself. And that's, that's something I've always enjoyed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And I think that's, that's. I agree. Some people, I don't want to say people are like wired that way, but it's, I think that's a discovery thing. That's something mm. that you could do because Dan, you've kind of listed off like pretty much every sport under the, the under the sun. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, but no, I mean, that's, but like after all of that, right. You, that none of that stuff really was what your, was your jam. You're not a part of like, uh, like a, a local league or, or anything with anything. You're like, this is, mm -hmm. and you, but you turned that. Thing that you love into the thing that you do, um, mm -hmm. and I think that that's. It, I want to harken harken back to what Sal said, um, because I hear this a lot from, and it doesn't matter what group you're in, but it's like when you have kind of clicked that into your head is like this is what I do, what we do, what we do. Mm -hmm. It's not what mm -hmm. we do, right? It's like the four year old with the black belt. Yeah, it's not what we do, right. um, mm -hmm. and I feel like. That's an impossible thing to kind of explain, 
but it's a feeling if you kind of hear that phrase you know what that person means right mm. but mm. without having to go into any sort of detail so right um if that makes any sort of sense oh it does, it no, does. It's, a, it's a it's a it's a cool statement um not one that i don't think i've thought about before uh but I, I I see where you're going with that. Yeah, because it's I've, I've heard that phrase from many different people who do martial arts, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. from different styles, from like whatever, like Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Karate, Arnie, mm -hmm. Tai Chi, uh, what we do. Yeah, and but clearly the Olympics is something that's going to happen, whether or not anybody wants it but it's not what we do. Right, yeah, and I, and I certainly have a lot of admiration for the, the hard work and skill that, you know, goes into being an, an Olympic competitor. I mean, that's, yeah. I, I will never have that, that, that level of, of um, you know, physical competency to do something like that. So, I mean, it's amazing what they can do. Don't um, count yourself but... out there, sir. I see you on the Instagram. On the instantaneous gramophone. It's all filters, John. You can do anything with filters. It makes yeah, it on a gramophone? Come on now. <laughs> it's uh it's uh, after shot. effects that's what it is right. it's after effects exactly. yeah yeah uh, exactly. <laughs> i'm not the only one who's yeah, been no, investing I, I can in never Adobe be an days. olympic athlete I, yeah. I, I mean i'm much too old now and uh you know yes I, I was I, I was in the best shape of my life when i wrestled in high school and it's all just been downhill from there <laughs> that was another thing i wrestled that was another sport that I tried. He's got everything. But, got everything I, under the sun. I think I know how old John is because I think he's actually said it. But I, Dan, how old are you? If I can ask. Uh, Thirty. Uh, Thirty-six. You can. You're, you're fine. You you. <laughs> keep Sally, swinging that mace, man. Keep swinging that mace. <laughs> are you saying there's farther down the hill to go? Uh, there's the, yeah. You can. You can. You can. Keep, no, you can go back up. Is what yeah. I'm saying. Is okay. you don't have to. Don't just accept that you're going to go downhill from there. You can keep <laughs> going up. Yeah. I'm in. I'm going to be 42 this year, and I'm in far better shape than I ever was in my 20s. Like I have That's no awesome. intention of going down. Yeah. Yes, keep going up. That's awesome. You might slow down. You know. You know. If you're going to compare yeah. yourself to 20 year olds, and yeah, you're going to slow down. But physically, I think you know your your late 30s and 40s, man. You can. You sh you, sh you can really make your body do some incredible things. Yeah. Tell you what, though, you know, and I was thinking about this, uh, well, maybe a few weeks ago. If I were to fight me back then, I would totally, I would totally win. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, the, sure. I, like yeah. there's a, there's a, you know, and I try to tell people, uh, like, you know, the way that, the way that we do tang sudo, right, or the way that we do karate is. The goal is we always keep our 120-year-old self in mind. So if you do a technique, it should work even if you're 120 years old, right? Yeah. So it's efficient. It's biomechanically sound. It's, a, you know, this is, this is the way that it should work. And something that I've, you know, uh, like I, I, I no longer care about strength for, for strength's sake. I don't care about flexibility for flexibility's sake. I don't care about any of that. I care about can I create this function efficiently? Can I create this mobility efficiently? Can I do these things well without using a whole lot of effort? Yep. And um, yeah, I, I, so in that in that regard, Sal, I'm in better shape now sure. than I was. Absolutely, now. yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I concede to that point um, because I, I I don't think that I could bench as much as I did back then. But I don't have to. <laughs> well, it all I can move somebody what, around much easier now than back then. It, it all comes down to what you're using to measure your success, right? So if you if you could bench press 200 pounds when you were 21 and now you can only bench 150, then you're like, oh yeah, I'm going downhill. But you right. know, that's that that's not a in my opinion that's not a fair comparison of you know whether you're you're improving or not. As you said, you know you've gotten more efficient and you have a better understanding of those principles that make your techniques work and. Uh, you know, a good, good friend of mine uh, has always said, you know, you should get 
better as you get older. You might not necessarily get stronger, but you should get better. You should be faster just because you have a better understanding of the, the biomechanics of the techniques and those get more efficient to where you don't have to put as much effort into them. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's the biggest thing that I've taken away from my training recently is that uh, when I, I was afraid of push-ups for a long time and literally a lot of my training these days, one of the things I've just built in is like, okay, 100 push-ups, go. And just like, all right, well, that's the thing. I like it's actually done in like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And just like, all right, it's done. All right, Deb, next thing. Well, and it's different when you do it sort of spontaneously like that versus, you know, writing it on a board and saying, I need to do 100 push ups, I need to do 100 squats. And it's just like, it's just like looming over you. It's yeah. like, like I said, it's like homework, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, anything, it's more, I like that spontaneous approach where you're just like, yeah, I feel like doing 100 push ups. So do it. Why not? Yeah. And it's, it's less spontaneous. It's like in my, like if you use the board in your head and not a, like if you don't like try to be like, dear diary, I am going to do this, which yeah, is yeah. pretty bad because it's like future diary. And then you can look back on it and you're like, I didn't do that. And it's in writing. I have to now burn this piece of paper. Um, <laughs> so. But I think yeah. uh, friends, countrymen, brothers, uh, Unfortunately, I must bring this to a close soon. But um, any final? I know it's kind of a weird place to kind of put it put it at. But speaking of a future that we will not burn, um, what do you guys have? Real in a oh, briefly, what what do you guys have going on for the rest of this week? Steel Mace classes going to be on Budo or not Budo on Bujin TV. Um, so starting to record those tomorrow, and I'll be making those available. Um, Hopefully every week. Cool. Sweet. That's, that's coming up. Awesome. That is exciting. I'm excited about that. I will, I've got a group class in the morning and then I will film something and I've got, um, I'm working on a few beginner Shodo uh, or Soye, uh, if you're Korean, uh, the calligraphy. Mm. Uh, so real basic stuff, like how to hold the brush. How to how to you know make the the eight basic strokes you know just real basic stuff on how to how to get started and uh, uh, that that I'm gonna be filming and putting up on Bujin here shortly so uh, cool. excited for that awesome awesome guys yeah, I, the only thing I have is really we're gonna be I know I need to get you guys properly on the audio version of all of this, the actual podcast, um, at some point. Uh, yeah. We're going to be getting our 60th episode in, I think, tomorrow recording. And then there's going to be some other stuff. I've been trying to start to put the pieces together to bake, to make like different stuff. But I'm, I, it's, again, one of those things where I don't want to write it down and then suddenly it becomes something I didn't do. So, you know. I've, I've, I'm kind of juggling a bunch of things in the air and trying to figure out, you know, if I will have, when I will have this background, not have this background anymore. Um, yeah. But uh, that being said, I hope for at least a couple more times we get to do this again and with this background. And uh, I can actually keep the internet connection um, together uh, so we can actually have a full stream without it being interrupted. But Sal, Dan, thank you so much. Uh, for joining us. You can find these guys. There are links in descriptions where you can find these guys. They're, they make awesome content for pretty much anything that you want to do martial arts related. And um, you can find it all on Bujin TV too. So, including this guy. So, including right, that guy. Oh god, oh. no. It's not this guy. Ugh. <laughs> He's so unphotogenic. Alright. Well, friends, thank you so much. And, uh, Thanks very much, John. Good to see you guys. Thanks, bud. Peace. Be well, guys. All see right. Ya. Thank you.